everybody welcome back to my channel and today I am bringing you my top it's probably gonna be like six um it's supposed to be my top five favorite face products now I'm gonna do like a little series of doing my top five of different things like face eyes and then probably my top five lip products and my top five um finger brushes probably you tools like that and everything so um anyways i got i wanted to jump on this and go ahead and get this up for you there is going to be a tutorial coming very soon i promise i'm trying to get a halloween tutorial done and then a makeup tutorial as well so um that'll come up for you soon but uh unfortunately there's not a lot of time right now i have a lot going on in my life so um just be patient with me as i'm trying to get all this done and everything figured out um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video of my favorite. So, my favorite face products. Now, these are like, um, it can be any, it'll be, it's like a wide range of, it's not like a wide range. I mean, it's a basic face stuff, what you use and everything like that. So, um, there's a few drugstore, not so drugstore. So, sorry about that. Um, anyways, so I'm going to start with primer. I normally don't use a primer. And, um, so, like, I've never really used a primer a lot. I, I mean, there, this particular one I did use a lot. I used it vigorously, and I ran out of the bottle, and I, I just haven't gone to purchase more because, um, I don't know why I haven't. I just, <laughs> been wanting other stuff besides it. Anyways, so, my favorite primer that I've always, always, always used is my Hourglass Veil Primer. Now, this stuff is like super, I wonder if I can even pump any more out because it's like, oh, I did. Ha! Huh? Yay! Got some. This stuff is like so like velvety and makes your skin feel velvety and like you just rub it in. It's like baby butt soft. Like I just, <laughs> I love touching my hand with it because like it just is so smooth and it smooths out your pores and everything like that. I just miss using it so much. Um, it's just really expensive and um, so that's why I got the travel size because when I first wanted to use it I was like okay I'm just gonna use the travel size I don't want the big bottle I'll just get the travel and then I'll see if I can want to rebuy it and I just haven't rebought it so this is gonna definitely be another purchase I do soon because I really miss it and it just made every time I put my makeup on it was just it was flawless and I loved it so much I feel so pretty and it would last all night so um yeah, I wish you could see my hand right now because like all like the, if you look it closely at your hand, like you do have pores in your hand and all those pores are like where I rubbed it. It's like, they're not gone, but they're like filled in and it's just, it's incredible. That primer is insane. And y'all yeah, like my little mom. This is like my senior homecoming mom from my dad. So you can see the daddy. Because I'm a daddy's girl. Look. See? I'm a daddy's girl, so that's why that's back there. And you're like, we're by my window and everything, so that's why we're there. Okay, so the next thing I have, of course, are my foundations. Now, these kind of go two and two together because I recently started doing something new. I've been combining these two foundations, and I really enjoy them. I'm actually doing, I did it today because of how I just really liked it. So, um, anyways... Uh, of course, uh, my favorite is Studio Fix Plus. This will never fail me. Never. <laughs> it never has, never will. And unless they change the formula or someone gets me the wrong bottle. Because this stuff, like, it's just made for my skin and I love it so, so, so much. So this will never go away out of my collection, I don't think. Unless I find something totally different. I'll always keep a bottle, though, I think of this because it's just that good. So. Recently, what I've been doing is, um, this is a next favorite now because of what I've been doing with it. I have the Hourglass Foundation. I don't know if I've ever used this in a video. I might have, but I might have probably just used it by itself. By itself, I feel like I get really, really oily. So, um, I mean, it's not like, I don't want to, I don't like using it by myself. But if I mix it with this one, like for instance, what I did today was I... Did like three pumps of this on the back of my hand and then I put it all over my face and then when I felt like I need more coverage I will go in with the stick foundation and just like 
like for instance I put it here and I put a little on my forehead and then on my trouble areas I put a little bit more so it'll be like a little bit more coverage because there was some red still showing through so it just shows a little bit more coverage and everything like that I feel like it has oh I just swatched that <laughs> um, habit um, it just has an amazing texture and you're able just to blend it in and everything so and it's like if this one has like a more yellow tone I think um that's why I also like mixing it because my uh MAC foundation has like a pinker tone to it so this yellow tone will off balance it and everything like that um and it like blends seamlessly so it looks really really pretty okay so other favorite items I don't I think these are both like all three a given but um I don't know if actually if I said it enough. <laughs> Anyways, so um, we're going to talk about powder. Of course, I'm going to talk about my Cody Airspun. This stuff, I've every time I've used it on someone, I feel like they look flawless. Especially if, like, sometimes um, if I mix my Maybelline concealers, like, for instance, there's the shade 15 in my, and not, I'm typing, tapping on this and no. It has nothing to do with that. There's shade 15 in the Maybelline Fit Me. And every time I use it, I think, like, for instance, on my mom, if I do my mom's makeup, I feel like her eyes will have, like, a gray undertone. And so I put this on, and it fixes it. So I don't know what it is. I don't know why it does that. But it, like, has, like, a grayish-green tone, and I don't like it. So that's why I only stick with, like, two basic shades. I know they're way off, but I stick with t number 10 and number 20. I don't do 15 because I think it has so much pink and like that it's making it a gray tone pink. I don't know. It's so confusing, but it just doesn't look flattering because I've done it also on my sister-in-law and it's turned out that color. And I'm just like, where is this coming from? So this is kind of my rescue whenever I'm using like if I feel like there's or the shade looks wrong or something like that. So this formula is just awesome and it's cheap. It's five dollars and I don't know. It's it's not comparable to anything else. I don't like, I like the Laura Mercier translucent powder, but this, this still beats it every time. I've had how finely milled it is and everything. So I will always, always repurchase this. So the next thing is, um, I've got this, it's a palette and I actually have two of these palettes. Not the same one, but they're like the same, I'm just saying it's so dingy. Um, same company, two different palettes. They have a, this one is the 9B palette, and then I also have the 9N palette, but I don't know where it's at right now. Um, of course, it's the, it's a Morphe blush palette. I mean, I, this is kind of self-explanatory. It has so many colors, and it's so versatile. Like, I can't tell you, I've had this for so long, and it still holds its true pigmentation. Like, that's, I know that's swatchy, but I... That probably looks like a terrible swatch, but I'm just kind of throwing shades out there. But it's literally, like, I don't know what else to tell you about this one. It's, if you ever invest in this, it's like the best money you'll ever invest in. I use it constantly. I use it daily. And with it, having the 9N palette, I have a different variety of more shades. There are way lighter shades than this. Like, these are... <laughs> This might look like a light shade, but it's not. It comes off very dark. And so the other shades that I have um, on the 9N palette are just, they're versatile to this. They're more paler. They're everything like this. So investing in a blush palette is not a bad thing. They might be more expensive, but they're never a bad thing. Because if you're like, if you like to do makeup artistry and everything like that, you will love this. Love, love, love. So. Don't ever feel bad if you ever go buy a $30 palette with this many shades. Because this is $30, so don't feel bad about it because it lasts so long. I think I got this for Christmas, actually. Yeah, I did. I got it two years ago. And look at it. I haven't even hit pan. I have not hit pan because it's all so pigmented and it just lasts a really long time. I'm probably going to hit pan on these two first. These are my favorite two shades. And also these two down here. So these four I would say because I'm not really an orangey tone and some of these have shimmers in it Hold on. yeah like this one's a shimmer 
you can't tell really, but it has like the, here, hold on. See, it's just, they're shimmery. And then this one's like, I have barely never touched that one because it's just a scary pink. It's like hot pink. It's that one right there. So, but this is never a bad thing to invest in. So spend your money wisely and go for this. Especially if you like the 9 in palette. It's more natural and everything. Okay, last but not least, I cannot open this because it is so shattered. And I actually broke my other one this weekend. So, <laughs> it was so sad. If you follow me on Snapchat, you saw it. Um, but, of course, my ride or die highlighter is Champagne Pop. This just makes me feel so, so pretty. And I feel like a million dollars when I put it on. And so, yeah, I just... I don't know what else to say about this. Jacqueline and Becca created a, an amazing highlighter. Like, I don't know. There's just nothing else like it. And I feel like it doesn't even do it justice. Like, I just, I feel so pretty when I put it on. And if you ever have the money to invest in a really good highlighter, I would definitely invest in a Becca one. Because they're so creamy and pigmented and they just last a really long time. I mean, I think I had this one when it first came out. And it's still going. So, it it doesn't hurt to invest in your money in powders. Because I feel like they last a really long time unless they're really cheaply made. Um, so, yeah. Invest in this and invest definitely in a Morphe palette. But definitely if you want to feel pretty and you ever just want to like have your makeup done and everything and feel glowy and everything, invest in a Becca highlighter. Even Opal is really good, but Champagne Pop works definitely for me. Uh, <clears throat> and that is it. I, that was a really short little go through of all these products. If you have any questions about these products, please let me know. Um, I don't hear a lot of down in the comments, so but I what I figured out is uh, maybe some of y'all don't have accounts or anything like that so if you don't have an account hit me up on my instagram or twitter or facebook and let me know what you think and everything like that anyways i'm going to wrap this video up i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe down below and give that big thumbs up and like this video and let me know what you thought and there will be more coming soon hopefully and um some big things are happening and i'm so excited i know i keep talking about it but I can't say anything yet. I know a lot of my friends are having big things happening in their life. <laughs> I was so excited about it. Anyways, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.